Welcome back everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, coming at y'all today from Take Aim Training and Range. In today's video, well, we're definitely gonna be paying homage to the Amageddon we're currently going through because we're gonna be doing some one-shot drills today, but it's all about sling manipulation and which slings that well, we've had laying around are actually some of the quickest to get into action. We're gonna be going over three slings today. First one, the Magpul MS1. Nice, comfortable little sling you can cinch down to your body, pretty cool. We've also got a T-Rex arm sling today and even the McLean Core sling. Pretty different wide variations from what we'll be seeing between the McLean Core versus two-point slings, but still interestingly enough, I still wanna see how quickly I can get into action with each of these. And like I said, it's slings that we've been running myself, Ryan, Alec, ones that we've been trying and well, I wanted to compare them because I've had experience with each of them and I'm like, okay, well, let's just, let's try it out and see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get one shot on target and I'm gonna be in the same position for each drill with each sling. Nice close distance target. We're maybe about 15 yards here on a large silhouette. Easy enough to get one shot on, but how quickly can I do it? Going pretty much from behind the back. I'll show you guys this way. From behind the back, up, engaging, and then in, and then just one shot. So let's just go ahead and try with the Magpul MS here and see how we do. Let's do it. All right, shot timer's on. Pretty low right, all right. That was 2.20, let's try it one more time. I noticed I, one thing about the Magpul sling, when, I th when I'm trying to work as quickly as I can, and this is even in high stress, trying to locate this to try to loosen up on your body, got a little difficult for me right there. So let's try it one more time and see where we're at. So remember 2.20 is where we're at. Let's try it one more time. All right, 1.95 and i am got pretty much the exact same shot placement. I think I need to zero my aim point here. I just threw it on. So let's just aim a little high left, see if we can bring this down one more time. 1.95, let's try it one more time here. Easy, easy drill, guys. Just going from a complete not ready <laughs> to end the action as fast as possible. And using only one round to do it. Pretty easy stuff. Let's try it one more time here. 1.95, aim a little high left, Clint. I need to go more to the left. <laughs> and that was 1.78, best out of three on that one. 1.78, not bad. Now let's go ahead and switch out slings here to the T-Rex arms and see if I can do any better with that one. Next up is the T-Rex arms sling. I like its simplicity. I like how just how clean it looks and everything else. I'll use some electrical tape probably to tape up my leftover strap here or just cut it. Uh, that's why I think they give you so much material is if you don't need that much, just cut whatever off you want. So easy enough. I did have it hook up to a QD right up front. And then back here, I've just got the strap or just the sling using its own material going through the stock of the B5 here. So easy enough, right? And I like that position quite a bit. It doesn't really get hung up on anything. You'll notice when I come up to shoulder it, boom, everything's out of the way. This pretty much sits right where I want it to be anyway, high in the shoulder. It's 556223. You don't really have to worry about that much recoil. So let's run it though, and let's just see if I can actually uh, manipulate this guy. One thing I am liking over the mag pool, as you guys saw with the mag pool, trying to get a hold of that piece of material there, that piece of metal or metal or plastic, depending on which uh, MS1 or 4 or whichever one you're running. It gets a little tricky in a high stress, not even high stress, just trying to be quick with it. it it's a little tricky just grabbing that. I like that with the T-Rex arm sling, which is also probably one of the most affordable slings that we're gonna be featuring today, you have pretty much multiple options. You can just grab and pull if you want to loosen that up so that way you can actually get the gun up without it being too close or too tight to the body. Or you can just grab this guy. So if you're walking around anything else and you want it pretty snug to your body and then all of a sudden you need to get an action, you're up and you're going. Easy enough. <laughs> So let's try it. Remember, 1.78 is my time to beat. Let's see if we can get it going here. Hands behind the back and let's, uh, let's set it up right. There we go. Did a little bit better sighting in my rifle now. <laughs> oh, look at that. First time running with the sling. Well, first shot with the sling, 1.79. Compared to what the Magpul was, we're already looking really good. 1.78 is the time to beat, so let's see if I can get any better with my second shot. Curious to see, let's do it. Uh oh. 
Yeah, now that one I fumbled a little bit trying to get the sling out of the way as I grabbed. A little bit more practice, Clint. Let's see where we were at though. Oof, 2.17. Still the time to beat is 1.78. And I got one more shot here. Let's see if I can do it. Ah, these little low count drills really play with the mind. It's like, oh man, all it is is one shot on target. You can do it, but can you? Woo, let's do it. Man, that was right on top of the other one, nice. 1.84, so 1.79 was my best run with this guy here. Magpul still reigning true at 1.78, so I'm curious to see how the McLean core is gonna come running in. Let's go ahead and switch them out and throw the McLean on. Next up, we got the McLean core. Now what's unique about the McLean core is it is a single point sling, except it has an administrative mode you see right here. I pull that guy, it breaks away. Now I've got full manipulation of my firearm, which I like quite a bit and I think is great for maybe a CQB type setting with maybe a shorter rifle, not a full length rifle like this guy here. Now, what's good about a single point is it does allow you to all sorts of types of manipulations with the firearm. You can go to weak side transmissions, things like that very easily. But if you have to drop the rifle, well, put it this way, I'd much rather the position of my rearward attachment point be a little bit closer to the lower receiver. So if I actually had one of the QD mounts right up here like I do on my Mark 18, I would prefer that quite a bit because what you're gonna see is if I drop this guy, it's gonna be way on down there, pretty much muzzle in the dirt, right? So placement of the sling really means a lot. With two-point slings, what you'll notice is you can just drop them and they'll still pretty, pretty much stay close to the body, but you don't have quite the maneuverability that you do with the McLean core. So give and take pros and cons, right? But overall, I'm still very satisfied with this guy. I like that you can just flip this guy around completely and now it's out of the way if I need to work with my hands and have a rifle, you know, not in my way. Bring the guy back around, unclip it, get in the fight. So I'm curious to see how quick we'll be on this guy. Remember, three shots, 1.78 is the time to beat. 1.79 with the T-Rex arm sling is second place right now. Let's see where we get with this guy. I'm gonna be pretty interested to see how I can grab it and everything else. Just this little loop here I grab, pull, and that breaks the attachment away. Let's have some fun. One shot on target. Don't miss, Clint, or else you suck. Let's see. Still a little low right. So that was 2.42. I fumbled around with the grip up here some, so I think that one is more me. But hey, I got two more shots. Let's get it right here. All right, let's go with the next one. One point seven six on our second try there. Definitely happier with that one there. And as you guys can tell, other than the T-Rex arm sling, the more you practice with it, typically the better you're gonna be. I, if I were to actually just do this without any ammunition, just practice getting the rifle up into a firing position, I'd probably be doing a lot better, even just running dry fire. One more shot here, let's see if we can cut it down any lower than 1.76. That was a little bit more accurate too, 1.70. Well, I gotta hand it to McLean and the McLean core sling and, and Neil there because this piece right here is genius. That right there makes it so easy to get a hold of. And I know what you guys are thinking, well, that extra material is probably just gonna get caught up or hung up on something. I haven't had that issue. Granted, have I been walking through the woods with it? Yes, I have been using, utilizing these on my own, going through woods, playing with the little recce setup that we you may have seen recently. And uh, yeah, it is, it's pretty nice. And I haven't had any twigs come and break this open. And in my mind too, as long as I have at least one hand on my rifle, if that does get snug, oh crap. Uh, let me just put that back really quick, right? Something like that. But again, this is probably all just me making up stuff because I actually haven't had that issue. So nicely done the clean core and coming in at 1.70, that's the fastest sling I've worked with today. If you'd like to see another little comparison video between different slings, let me know down in the comment section. We've got slings laying around for days because I'm always trying to figure out what I want to run with. And I do prefer the Magpul MS sling. I like it quite a bit just because it does have that nice tension. I am a fan of two points quite a bit. Never was a fan of single point slings until the McLean core sling came out and they uh, sent me one to try out and I was like, guys, I don't like single points, but okay, I'll try it, why not? And now we're carrying in a classic firearm, so 
that goes to show you what I think of them, all right? But anyway, to conclude this video, the McLean Core Sling beat them all out. Now, typically what I would like to do, and again, if you'd like to see a part two, let me know. Maybe actually doing transitions with the rifle from a rifle to a pistol, trying that with the McLean Core Sling and going with uh, against a couple of other two points like you just saw, right? Like the T-Rex and the Magpul MS Sling. I'd be curious to kind of see how that goes too, but I'll be honest with you guys, I won't run the Colt. I'll probably run my Mark 18, which has the QD adapter right back here on the back plate of the lower receiver. So that way this guy attaches a little bit closer and then whenever I drop it off to the side is typically where I like to do that. I won't be, you know, almost muzzling the dirt. Either now I'm still pretty good, but it'll get pretty low, right? Not exactly ideal if doing transition. So it's something I wanna play with and see what I can perfect with it, all right? But anyway, make sure you check out our website for most of the stuff we feature today. The Magpul gear, of course, and the McLean Core Sling, and then all the stuff I'm running today on my rifle. Surefire Scout, because it's an awesome optic. Surefire muzzle device, McLean Core. We've got the Tango Down Grip Mod Light here. Aimpoint T2 with the Skylar Works mount, like that a lot. Knight's Armament rear mount, B5 system stock, B5 systems grip, the bad lever, which is awesome, and the standard Magpul Gen 3 magazine. All right, Knight's Armament rail, by the way. So there you go. I know you guys are always asking, you know, what are you running on your gun? That's pretty much it. Oh, and the most important part, Geisley. <laughs> that right there is the Geisley trigger flat face two stage. I like it a lot. All right, I think I covered everything here that you guys typically like to talk about. And this guy here, the Pack G2 Shot Timer. There you go. Now I think I covered all the bases. If I missed anything, just let me know down in the comments. I'll get to it, all right? And a hat, classic firearms hat, classic firearms shirt, Walker silencer Bluetooth. Okay, these are all the questions you guys typically ask. Uh, Garmin Instinct. Quelo or something, I don't know, but anyway. All right, I'm done. Go check out our video announcing our current giveaway. Don't forget there are many ways to gain entry methods or gain entries, I should say, through multiple entry methods, but all it takes is one entry to win. One of those entry methods is by utilizing a code word for a couple hundred entries. Don't miss out, guys. As always, we appreciate you and your business. God bless, and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.